This is Joanna IVM Ramos from BSN2 Black D of the College of Nursing of Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. For this video, I will be performing the Benedict's test solution. For the assessment, here are the areas and points to be assessed during Benedict's testing. Determine the need for Benedict's test. Assess the client's overall condition. Determine when the client last voided or was last tested for urine analysis. Here are the things that we need to determine. Determine if there is a near barangay health unit for more comprehensive testing. Next, if there is a history of hypertension, diabetes, or preeclampsia in the family. Next, for the planning, prepare all the equipment needed. CHN or OB bag. 2. Allow adequate time to perform the urine testing. Next, this must be performed during a home visit. Here are the equipments needed. Sterile urine specimen bottle, Benedict's test solution, test tubes, test tube holder, alcohol lump, denatured alcohol, matchbox, newspaper, dropper, and clean gloves. The implementation Prior to performing the procedure, introduce yourself and verify the client's identity. The rationale for doing this is for us to know if we are handling the right client. Next, explain to the client what we are going to do, why is it necessary, and how he or she can participate. The rationale for doing this is that our client will understand what will the procedure that we will perform to them. Next is observe for infection control procedures. The rationale for doing this to, is to minimize the spread of the microorganisms. Next is to provide for the client's privacy for the comfortability of our client during the procedure. Next is to spread the newspaper for the bag to rest on. Place on a steady dry place away from the sunlight and garbage. Unbutton the bag, take out all necessary equipments needed. The alcohol lamp with denatured alcohol, test tubes, test tube holder, match box, Benedict solution, and acetic acid. Hand the sterile specimen bottle to the client, then ask the client to have a midstream catch of the urine specimen. Put on gloves and wait for the client to give you the urine specimen. <music> Next, put the Benedict solution on the measuring cup. Obtain 5 ml in total. Fill in the test tube with the solution, then heat the solution using the alcohol lamp for 2 to 5 minutes. Hold the test tube using the test tube holder facing away from you. Wait for the solution to cool down and then observe for changes in color. After testing Benedict solution for purity, Add 8 drops of urine specimen in the solution, heat the mixture for 2 minutes. Allow the mixture to cool down and observe for changes in color. The following changes may occur and these changes indicates a blue for a negative result, green for 0.1 to 0.4%, Yellow for 0.5 to 1% presence of sugar, orange for 1.1 to 1.5%, red for 1.6 to 2%, big red for 2.1 and above. So as we see, the color of the result is color blue which indicates that the results are negative. For the evaluation, we assess and evaluate the comfort of the client after the nursing care. Notify the healthcare facility responsible regarding the results. Next, perform a detailed follow-up based on findings that deviated from the expected or normal for the client. Next, teach the client how to do proper follow-up and provide other appropriate instructions. For the documentation, document the procedure including the tests performed and results in the client's record using forms or checklists supplemented by narrative notes when appropriate. Next, record the findings and nursing care given. And then lastly, make an appointment either for a clinic or a home visit.